I'm going over how to do just that, explaining some of my best tips for getting your slots winnings out of the casino. And of course, I'll be taking your questions because this is a live stream. I'm only saying that because of course, the people who are live now know it's a live stream, but you might be watching this after the fact. Hello to you. Thank you for being here and be sure to subscribe for notifications so that you can have your questions answered the next time I do one of these. But either way, stick around and I'll be sure to, and I'm sure it will be of value to you. Um, but if you're watching this, if you're watching this after the fact, but those of you who are here live, thank you so much. And checking in with the live uh, chat very quickly. Um, we have people saying hello, so that's that's great, um, wonderful. Uh, um, and I, I have several regular viewers who are who spent the week in Las Vegas, and I'm sure they're tired. Uh, nope, nope, no, <laughs> there they are. Um, we have a donation uh, from Chuck. Uh, thank you, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and uh, we got some feedback from him. He, uh, he has given a super chat and he says, good morning and morning all. And he said, Vegas still seems tight to me. Uh, and um, <laughs> we've got people uh, coming in. Um, uh, great. Uh, I was just saying, Jan, um, uh, Texas Tootsie. Um, uh, she says, hi, all. Uh, just got home from Vegas, really tired. <laughs> um, uh, we, I was just saying that. I was just saying that. So take it take it easy. Enjoy the live stream. No pressure. Um, and uh, welcome back uh, to you and Chuck and um, uh, Magpie 11 uh, <laughs> Um, and, and all of that. So, uh, and I also have another comment, um, John, uh, thank you for helping to take a great deal of the gamble out of slots play gambling. Well, I certainly do hope that, that, you know, if you, if you remove all of the gambling aspects, uh, seriously, I, I, I've done it. I, I've, I've had times at casinos where I'm like, I'm going to win a whole bunch of money. John, you know, and, and so gambling is fun. Uh, using an ATM to get a withdrawal, only you're not too sure how much that's going to be. It's not as fun. Uh, it, it gets boring really fast. Um, and Jan says she had a great time in, in Los Angeles. I can't wait to hear all about it on Thursday night. So improve your slots winnings and get more money home with this. 30 days to play slots smarter and win currently at 50% off for $100 savings at professorslots.com slash 30 days. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there you'll find a complete description, testimonials, and the valuable bonuses you'll get free from, with my course, including lifetime access record-keeping templates, and much more. The link is available in the video description. So today's live stream has a new format. Oop. And Magpie 11 has said, "Good, great conversation and more fun had by, much fun had by all. Wonderful, Magpie 11. Uh, Magpie 11 was one of the groups, of, there was, I think, four, three, four uh, people that were uh, usually in the live stream who were there in Las Vegas uh, some portion of, of, of last week. And at least three of them kind of like coordinated. So if you have questions um, about Las Vegas, I know there's one person who was contacting me this morning. And I said, come to the live stream and talk to uh, Magpie 11 or Chuck or Jan Texas Tootsie about how things are going. And, yep. Uh, and Steve is one of those others I was thinking of from Wisconsin. Hello, everybody. Vegas treated me well. Had lots of fun this last week. Four jackpots and numerous uh, like hand pays. Uh, food was kind of pricey, but it's vacation. Um, uh, so we've got an update on last week's live stream about those people who were planning on going to Las Vegas. I made that topic last week for them and for the millions of other people who didn't show up and watch the video. <laughs> um, uh, I suppose, thankfully. Uh, and um, so, and so you might notice that there is a new format and I'm uh, actually can be seen rather than sort of like a professor at the front of the room. You can't see well. 
Um, and so uh, that's one minor thing. You might have seen the the uh, temp the um, uh, thumbnail. That's another thing. Uh, but uh, so what I usually do is I'm keeping many things. But one of the things is I start with this last topic, uh, and and uh, that you care about. And then after a while, I switch over to answering questions. That's nothing new. But I notice that lots of slots enthusiasts arrive about an hour into the show, which is right about when I'd previously ended my live streams. And well, that seemed that seemed like it was a shame. So this is a two-hour live stream or at least until my voice gives out. We'll see how it goes. I've lectured for two hours uh, at times and back-to-back -back presentations at conferences, and it gets a little iffy, but I'm not trying to shout. Uh, just turn up the volume, uh, and 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 um, uh, usually that doesn't wear my voice out if I'm not trying to shout over a crowd. Um, <laughs> a little pro tip about conferences. When you're out in the main area having conversations with each other, you're just yelling as loud as you can to be heard and that's how you wear your voice out not during a presentation where you have a microphone anyway too many of those to go to <laughs> and my cat is like what's going on okay um uh, go back to your seat in the couch come on okay uh curious uh curious <laughs> um okay so um i've also decided to offer another um I've also, also I've also decided to offer another live stream on a weekday or two, and it might even be two hours long. So not everybody, we know this, those of you who have been with me for a long time, I've had live streams for what, two and a half years now, something like that. And we started out on Saturdays at 2 p.m., but people were Eastern time and people, but you know, some places they were up and about and already on their you know busy Saturday, and it was too late for them, and so I moved it uh, not too you know at what live stream number twenty five out of a hundred, I moved it. Uh, I think we're at about a hundred and five or so. Anyway, weekly, <clears throat> except like Christmases and holidays and vacations, but two and a half years, but. Uh, and, and noon at, at Saturday has worked a lot better. So, but you know, there's weekdays as well. And I know that not everyone is going to be available. My moderator has already informed me she's not going to be available uh, during the week. But I am. Uh, I, I I lost my. I was laid off. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I wish I could see Kiri. I, I, I picked her up in like episode 10 and she just sort of like argued with that. And and while you found it very amusing, I had to stem the bleeding. <laughs> um, so when do you think that you might like to have a uh, another live stream? I have a commitment, a Zoom meeting on Thursday nights with my paid community at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So not then, I'm already doing one. Uh, but, you know, uh, two, a year and a half, almost two years ago, almost two years ago, I was laid off as an aerospace engineer uh, during the pandemic, uh, which was just coincidence. Um, one out of three people were let go at, at the major company that I work for. If I'd said the name, you would know what it was. Uh, you wouldn't know what it was. And he would say they made jet engines, but you'd still know who they were. In any case, um, uh, I am now available during the day. I, I'm working on this business. And so, uh, sure, let's have a live stream. And if you want to comment in the, uh, mostly the people who are here live are probably okay with now. <laughs> um, uh, so mostly I think that if you are going to comment uh, watching this live stream as a recording later, uh, let me know what time works for you. I'm thinking go with noon, but on Thursday, because Thursday evening is, is booked for every Thursday uh, for the Zoom meeting that we all have uh, in the paid community, uh, but uh, possibly also on Tuesday uh, evening. Uh, that's what my, you know, that's my schedule is pretty open, busy, 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 but not anything pinned down too much. So Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Thursday at noon, 
uh, Eastern time, one or the other, both, just let me know in the comments uh, below this video. Uh, and if you have an opinion in the live chat, we'll check there. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm thinking Thursday evening and Tuesday at noon. Watch for more live stream details to come out soon, either in my uh, emails that I send you or through uh, my, my channel. Um, one of the things that you will see, let me share this with you. One of the things that you'll see is when I have a live uh, stream set up, it's actually uh, here and you can set the timer you can watch late. Well, uh, this is this is actually happening. So uh, there, when when it's yet to be presented, yet to be a, a live stream, there's a set reminder. And if you set the reminder, um, uh, then you will be notified when it actually takes place, even if it's a day later or so. Also, be sure to uh, subscribe uh, to um, and like uh, this video. Uh, so that we can get more people to come in and 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 work the algorithm, it's kind of like uh, winning at slots at the casino. You know, I'm trying to help you win, and to do that, I need people to watch. Okay, so uh, one of the things I'm going to be uh, before we get into the topic of uh, deeply into the topic, I also wanted to say if you have a question, use hashtag hashtag question uh, in your comment if you're here live. Uh, that's so I can be sure to spot your question to me instead of all the conversations that take place between one another, uh, many comments that are being made in the live chat uh, directed towards each other because this is a community video and it's a chance for people to get caught up how the trip go and all, and all those other things but if you have a question for me it's sometimes hard for me to you know take your time and like scroll through it and try to find the questions uh they jump out at me but a lot of them are just like saying hi so uh you know please do that i also uh, provide that information uh in this new feature that i have which will say like let's chat start your message uh, start your message with hashtag question uh, uh, in order for me to see it. And I'll turn that on when we kind of like reach the point of uh, our, the end of our topic. Uh, so, okay, that's all instructions. I won't ever say that again. That's just for this time because it is a new format and you deserve to know. Okay, so none of us, uh, and you know, let's dig in today's topic. None of us were born already knowing how to budget our bankrolls uh, um, uh, for playing slots at casinos, plus great internet advice for practical slots money management. It's all jumbled up with myths and misunderstandings. To provide clarity in slots money management, in another video, I've sorted through these internet suggestions and uncovered for you the 11 best and most practical tips. And if you want to see where that is, it is on my main page and if you scroll down, it will say slots money management. And so you can see my arrow here. I hope your phone is, uh, if you're watching on a phone, it's not too small. I've made my arrow big. And so these are the tips. And I, I, like basically two tips per video, very short videos uh, of three minutes, two minutes. Uh, once a few others are, are seven minutes. But go ahead and take a look at that. If you go to playlists on my uh, YouTube channel, dot youtube.com slash professor slots you can also see it over here uh and by the way uh someone was i think it was jan was saying that i've been putting out so many videos that she didn't want to miss anything so if you go to uploads under videos these are all in chronological order everything podcast episodes where it's just a single image of my talking and having a conversation with a slots enthusiast for an hour um, and uh, uh, live streams and uploaded videos the whole kit and caboodle speaking, speaking of kit you okay okay um, and so uh, we'll come back to this uh, yeah oh <laughs> Just showing me she loves me. <laughs> um, right. Um, so uh, today's topic is about preserving gains systematically. Revenue minus expenses equals profit. 
Revenue means winning at slots, but it only turns into profit if you can keep your gambling expenses low. I have many videos on how your casino might have set themselves up to be taken advantage of by you one way or another. And a related bankroll management topic, this is all context, is when everything goes sideways at those casinos that don't have the setup for which slots strategy you're trying to use so you can take advantage of them. It's just not there. And dealing with that requires loss limits. And that happens. So today we're not talking about learning to win at slots, nor are we talking about assessing your casino to determine which of my winning slot strategies deliver to you a profit. It's not about loss limits. In this live stream, I'm assuming you've already figured that out or will. See, one of the things that um, wise people do is anticipate problems and try to see if there's any answer for it. So today we're talking about the money management method called preserving gains. It's our goal to take home more money than we arrived with. Naturally, we'll need to win something. Next, we must avoid spending too much of that revenue. So this is about, you figured out how to win, now how do you keep it? If you win as much as your bankroll, revenue minus, uh, equals expenses and profit is zero. In other words, it's a wash. Although you may have valued the entertainment and club points earned with your cards. And other videos I have are about, you know, um, uh, what's your gambling goal? How do you focus on it? Okay, so choosing to not make a profit is like going to any retail business or amusement park where you simply purchase what you want. But purchases are not the same as gambling. Winning on a slot machine means revenue can exceed expenses, sometimes by thousands of dollars. That's what many of us hope for, but few, too few of us get. Instead, most of us go to a casino to purchase entertainment or to get free stuff. And that's okay if those are your gambling goals. But some of us want to take some of us want to make some of us want to make money gambling. Maybe you do, even if it's not your primary goal. So most people go to casinos for entertainment value. Whether you take the money home or stay and use it to fund more entertainment is entirely up to you. I'm making no judgments here. But if you want to take it home, uh, it, it's hard. Um, how do you take money home when it's so hard to leave a casino before spending all your bankroll and winnings beforehand? In other words, how do we preserve our gains? There are several ways to protect your winnings. There are several ways for you to protect your winnings when playing a specific slot machine systematically. Whichever method you use is about timing your cash outs. Preserving gains goes alongside of setting a loss limit. Unlike loss limits, preserving gains isn't about losing money carefully. Instead, it's about your actions immediately following a win, perhaps even a substantial win. Let's go over four possible winning scenarios and what to do when you experience each of them. Consider these triggers. How much is your win, how much of it is you're going to keep? And I'm identifying four scenarios by which it's 100%, 50%. So, you know, sometimes small wins, it's like, well, it's not really going to go home over this. So let's consider these triggers. And in a moment, we'll talk about getting out with that, with that once that trigger has been made, how do you get out? So first, um, let's say you get a win, which doubles or more than doubles your original bankroll. I mean, I could say if you go with a hundred dollar bankroll and you win two hundred dollars, uh, but then you might be someone who goes with five hundred dollars or three thousand dollars, whatever. Let's say you get a win which doubles, or more than doubles your original bankroll. If your gambling goal is to make money, my best advice for you is to go home. Should I yell this? Go home. I should sort of hold up a sign. Go home. Second, different amount. So if you double, go home. Second, 
let's say you win the amount of your original bankroll. It's you, you, you've doubled your money. You're doubled your original money. Uh, well, in this scenario, put those winnings away to take home, but continue to play with the remainder of your original bankroll. If no wins occur, at least you won't lose money on your casino trip because you put away what you brought. So I feel a certain amount of freedom when this happens. Have you have you done this? Have you have you early on in your trip you won a certain amount of money? It's what you brought with you. You tucked it away and you went, "I'm free. <laughs> you can do what you want." Uh, it, it, you don't want to do what you want. You have a plan. You want to do that, but you know uh, you could because now you are losing money. But you might want to continue with the plan that won you that money <laughs> and so you can do it again and again um so you know i i find that uh it reduces stress um uh, quite a quite a bit i'm i'm not as worried about stuff and i just sort of relax and i have a more enjoyable time so uh three three uh win more than half your bankroll uh so you brought $500 to the, the casino and you win $250 to $100 or $250 to $500 half your original bankroll but less than your initial bankroll so any you know for a $100 bankroll it's it's $50 up until $100 i recommend that you put away half of your winnings so if it's a hundred dollar bankroll, you want fifty bucks. I recommend putting away twenty five dollars, um, and then you hope uh, that uh, it'll happen again and again and again. So uh, for less than half your original bankroll, so hundred dollar uh, bankroll, multiply it by whatever you take. A um, hundred dollar bankroll originally, and you win. Uh, less than $50, $25, something like that. Or if you've got a $1,000 bankroll, it's less than um, uh, $500. Not, 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 not over $500, less than that. So with that, I would consider um, continuing to play uh, until reaching your loss limit. So that's, and that's why you have one. This scenario is common for slots enthusiasts who randomly select slot machines. Here, consider using what you have left on another slot machine or not. It's your call. You can continue to accept these losses because you can afford them or check to see if, if my slot strategies work at your casino. Once again, it's your call. To keep these scenarios practical, I must point out two difficulties. First, slot machines don't allow you to cash out only part of your bankroll. How do you eject only a portion? You can't. Herein lies the charm of not using all your bankroll at once. With only part of your bankroll inserted into that slot machine, you can print a voucher for the full balance and then enter more cash without stepping away from that winning slot machine. And the second issue is uh, the second issue is where to put your winnings so you don't spend them. And there are so many ways to do this. So many ways that it gets confusing fast. One approach is to use a Winner's Bank 2000. Uh, this is a pink one. They also sell them in blue and black. Uh, and this is how you open it. You, you're making lots of noises. This is the key. You leave the you take the key out and you leave it at home. Take the key out. Take the key out. Leave it at home. Take this with you. There's a slot in the top right there. And you fold money and you press it in there with this card. Okay. Then you also have loud. Uh, then you also have the gamble box, which is a much smaller slot at the top. You have to fold and fold and fold and fold uh, in order to be able to fit it in there. Um, um, and I'm like, do I press on the screen? Do I fold it on my thigh? I do have some problems with that. And I'll talk about a free way to do this. But the inside, it's kind of like fine. And, and, if, if, and again, it's a bigger key. 
and you leave that at home and you take this with you. It's a little bulkier um, and, you know, in your pocket, it's a little bigger. And both of these, if you're a high limit gambler, it's, <laughs> those are not going to work for you. Um, you know, you might be able to get like 30 bills in there. Sure, if it's hundreds, that might be a hand pay, maybe a little bit more than a hand pay. Um, uh, you know, they hold maybe 30 to 50 bills and both can jam. And, you know, you leave the coin, the, the key at home and you can't open it again unless you, I was thinking I should make a video about running over, um, running over it with my car um, uh, to crack it open. Um, then you just heard Isaac, he's downstairs, uh, uh, my dog, uh, who is <laughs> 11 and a half months. Help me, help me, please. Um, so uh, you, they can jam and then when you don't have the key because you deliberately left it at home, um, you know, it's, it's. Uh, it can become a problem. Uh, so I have my doubts about, uh, you know, how I'd even fold some of these and and uh, use them. Um, but, you know, if you have one, that's great. And if it works for you, that's great. And if you have a low bankroll, that's great. Um, if instead, uh, you know, there is there are ways to develop a, a few good habits. Uh, and only a few tries, I've successfully used a pocket for the same purpose. Besides which, um, as I've had reason to learn, I, uh, typical men's jeans, I know they have much bigger front pockets than women's jeans. Um, why, why is that? Uh, and, um, but, you know, the lockable wallets hold a lot less than jeans do. And, and I, you can put 100 bills uh, into uh, one front pocket of a men's, men's jeans without any of them picking out, uh, peeking out. You might even get a, get a phone in there, too. So if I use both front pockets, you mean you found someplace else? If you use both front pockets, that's 200 bills or $20,000. I've done it. So again, I've been there and done that. For me, I use one front pocket as deposit only and the other front pocket for where I put the bankroll I'm working with. The bankroll pocket gets dip, dipped into a lot since I don't tend to hold a fistful of money when I go from machine to machine during my casino visits. But the first pocket is for deposit only. And you can train yourself to use your pockets in this way because it is a habit. Try to always use the same pocket for deposit only. You don't need to train yourself to take nothing out of it while you're still at the casino. I recommend thinking long and hard before making a decision, before making a deposit. Once it's in there, it's not supposed to come out. Treat it that way. I was surprised to find that it only took me about three tries before I never took anything out of that pocket until I got home. Well, you want to cash out vouchers on the way out the door. But each, for each attempt, the money stayed deposited longer and longer until I was successful. By my fourth attempt, I got home with what I deposited. You can use a pocket um, once you get into the habit. Uh, never have to worry about losing a key to a lockable container, which in essence doesn't hold that much anyway. Yes, there are piggy banks with locks that can fit into a purse. Um, you know, a cash box with a slot at the top. Uh, you know, something big, and those exist. But it's also lugging around steel um, and metal. Uh, and that uh, can get to be a bit much for a long day with a purse. Um, pockets are also a lot faster to work with in a, within a busy casino environment rather than struggling with tightly folding bills and pushing them into the lockable containers. And of course, if it doesn't have to be the front pockets of a pair of jeans, it can be a wallet, purse, jacket pocket, and more. But it's easier to get into the habit if you don't often switch what you use for deposit only. There are also hand pays, which present opportunities. So there are, you have a couple, you may not be aware that if you get a hand pay, you can ask for something other than cash. You can ask for something other than just cash. You can ask for a cashier's check uh, and part cashier's check, part cash, all of a cashier's check. And that is one way to, to get out of the casino, as long as you don't cash it at the casino. Um, but uh, that's one way to make it a little less accessible. See, there's there's extremes. You know, if you have a serious problem getting out of the casino with money, um, I suppose you can get a lockable wallet and, you know, uh, 
you know, I'm pretty sure you run over it with your tar car tire and you'll get it open. So that's not an extreme, but it, there is an extreme, particularly for hand pays. Give it to the government that, temporarily. Have federal income taxes of 70 to 80% taken out. And don't do this unless you get deductions, expect to get deductions, because you won't get it back until, oh, I don't know, right now. It's April, right? We filed our taxes. By the way, whew, what a deal that was. But <laughs> moving on. But, um, you know, you won't get it back till the next April as a, as a tax refund. Um, but the government's got you know, several armed forces <laughs> to prevent you from getting it back early. So that's an extreme method that works. But the simplest um, way to get out of the casino is to run. Get out. It might not be convenient because you might have just arrived, but get out works very well. Whatever method you choose, work it out in advance. Winning slots at winning money at slots is not when you are doing your best thinking. Know what you're going to do in advance. Know what works for you, okay? So improve your slots winnings and get more money home with this. 30 days to play slots smarter and win, currently at 50% off for $100 savings at professorslots.com slash 30 days. There, and I'll show you what that looks like um, on my website here. Uh, you can uh, go to 30 days, uh, professorslots.com slash 30 days. There you'll find a full, a, a full description, testimonials, and valuable bonuses that you'll be getting. So this is a, this is people like a long read about what, everything is in there. You can slow this down or you could go to, you know, what each of these different sections, um, what you get, uh, the bonuses you have, a recap, and then that's the current price, uh, lifetime access, more bonuses, and all of that. So this is a full explanation. You can also go uh, for a slightly faster read um, to, um, if you click this, any of these green buttons here, you will go to the where you would do the purchase uh, on the vendor site that I use for uh, teaching. And uh, you will see that what you'll get, learn the different um, uh, sections and what they're all about, what's, what each day of the 30 days entails and um, the, the bonuses there. So that's kind of like a fast read, uh, but people seem to prefer a much longer read. And um, that's why I have multiple pages on, on what works. Uh, so, um, you know, the link is also available in the video description. So if you have a question, use hashtag question for an, for the next um, hour and a half or so. I'll be sitting here taking your questions until my voice gives out. Hopefully not. So let me um, provide that notification. So there you go. Uh, all these new features, all these new things that I'm trying to do. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, there's. you also see some changes in the upcoming uploaded videos uh, as I uh, work through some different things. Uh, it, yeah, if you're not if you're not growing, you're not you're not changing. Uh, you're falling behind. So that's that's what this is all about. Um, okay, questions. Whew. Uh, going back in time. And I understand people are, you know, going to start showing up in about half an hour. Uh, and, oh, I was wondering if Steve was going to see Chuck uh, and Mark, Mark Magpie 11 and Jan while in Las Vegas. Um, and they're asking each other um, where they were. And so this is the sort of thing where I'm like, fun conversation. You, you should be here and see this. It won't. The live chat is not something that I show later in the recording. I switch that off. Um, yeah, and, uh, okay. Uh, and I don't know if Pinty Black is asking, um, a question. Uh, so uh, this is interesting. Uh, the Palms in Las Vegas, after being closed for what years is reopening. Uh, and that would be in four days, less than a week. Uh, do you think it's a good time to go? I do. Uh, 
Uh, there's several reasons for this. Traditionally, if you go to any new casino, um, and I classify this as a new casino because they were closed. Sometimes you get casinos that never stop running and they just switch names. And that's not this. This is closed for years. And so they need to do a couple of things. One is they need to train their personnel. <laughs> and uh, particularly for table games, table games know this is an advantage. Just go. And if they make a mistake that's not in your favor, if the, the dealer makes a mistake and uh, that's not in your favor, uh, then you go ahead and mention that. But if they make a mistake that is to your favor, you throw away the key. Okay. Leave that key at home. <laughs> But for slots enthusiasts, it's it's also that way, um, a little bit. Uh, the, mach the machines aren't really making a mistake, but they're kind of. Um, the, the, you can watch professorslots.com slash abc27. Okay, that is my interview with ABC Evening News in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where they're asking. You know, years later after a casino opened, after Penn National opened in that part of Pennsylvania, what the heck is going on with all this tightness? And so, yeah, wh what is going on with all of that? And they have state return statistics in Pennsylvania, and they, they saw it was up here. And the year it opened, the month that it opened, and then it went Let's see, how's, how can I do this? Down, 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 down. And now I'm under the screen and you just keep going, okay? That top level that for the first month, it never, 8, 10, 15 years later, never returned to that higher return. Because what were they doing? It was a cornfield and they put a casino in and they had to, you know, treat the locals to, you know, winning to get people to come in and how better to do that than and build word of mouth is give you money and the investors of the casino knew that so this is typical this is typical for it's a cornfield and now it's a casino or whatever uh it's new to the area they need to establish themselves it's what you do for businesses and so that's it you know, um, you want to go when, when, when it's new. And we could talk about, you know, changing the name, which is not good because the new owners have, uh, you know, paid a lot of money and they want to start getting that back as soon as possible. But if the casino is trying to sell itself, that is a great time. And this transition from the old owner to the new owner is unknown to you. They don't, they don't get the sign the signs for the casino until six months after all this takes place. There is one way to know. I mean, you can go into financial reports and keep an eye on things if you're good with that sort of thing. But if you get hand pays, the name will change on the W2G IRS tax form the day it's a new casino. I've seen that. I've done that. And I was like, I don't know why I noticed. I just glanced at it and I was like, Who's Red Rock? <laughs> I thought it was Caesar's property, and and so you see this happening, and and so um, uh, that's that's the only way to know for sure. I, uh, answering questions. Uh, so I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, hopefully, I've gotten Alani mispronounced to Ah uh, Lana in Washington. And I'll, I'm, I'm saying that so I remember more. I say, I'll say it often, Alana. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce... Uh, where is it? Y-A-A-M-A-V-A. -A -A and that's not the correct spelling. There is an asterisk at the end that does something to the A. And I've looked it up and it's not a common accent or anything like that. So... Uh, Yamava, <laughs> and my apologies in advance. Uh, my apologies afterwards. Um, <clears throat> okay, so there's uh, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Michael Bone has put in hashtag hashtag question. So why am I using? I guess the question is why am I using <laughs> question? So I can spot. So I can say hi, Mike. Hi, Michael. How you doing? If you have a question, let me know. 
uh, practice worked out great. <laughs> I, I assume the, the double hashtag was not a typo. Okay. Um, so we have uh, Serena. Uh, <laughs> this is a nice, pretty cat. Pretty cat. I'll leave it at that. Um, three days in Las Vegas this past week. Three hand pays at Bellagio and an ATM machine. Um, oh, yeah, location, right? Isn't a little bit boring, but, you know, maybe it pays for the trip. Uh, for me, it lasted for months, and I was just like, oh, excitement would be nice. Um, so you had an ATM uh, using location, location, location that kept paying, but then I stuffed away too many hundreds in Buffalo Diamond machines chasing the bonus. Well, if your gambling goal was just to have fun, then you did it right. But I kind of <clears throat> winched <laughs> when you didn't get it home. Have to decide if that's what you want to do. Um, all of us, uh, you know, you got spending money after you win some, if that's the way you want to look at it. I, I hope you did. I hope you looked at it that way. Um, right. 99 Problems was uh, somebody who uh, commented in early. Uh, if you are reading the comments, um, go ahead and ask uh, Chuck Sedano. Texas Tootsie, Magpie 11, what worked yesterday there. Um, Steve uh, also got uh, um, several hand pays, Steve Keenan, um, and, and check with him. Just chat with him right now during the live, live stream. Um, I have my information, but theirs is, you know, they're tired from the trip. That's how, how fresh their information is, and mine's like two weeks old. So <laughs> um, uh, I want to give you the best answer, and the best answer is to, is to talk to them. Um, yeah, uh, uh, my moderator, Paula, did say that uh, like 99% of the audience just got back from there. Uh, should have had a meetup or something. Um, uh, so, um, Steve, uh, Magpie 11, Jan, Chuck, uh, maybe you've already done this, but you want to give them a clue. Uh, and somebody was, else was just saying, uh, saying location, location, location. If you're not invested in that strategy at that casino because you've left Las Vegas, um, you know, identify. Uh, and, and let's see if we can help uh, 99 problems out. Uh, yes, um, yes. Uh, PNT Deep Black uh, says, I call it hit and run. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, the confusing part, the, the confusing part of all this is, is really when you dig into it, is it's maintaining discipline and maintaining a habit of getting out of the casino. And one of the things that's hard to do is switching. So, you know, if you don't have a method, look around. But the people who are, are slots enthusiasts for many years have figured out how to get out. And seriously, hit and run. All right? Give it a cool name. Get out is a working strategy. But there are other things. And I hate to even mention that there is another way to win. Like another way to keep you winning. It's like gambling boxes. You know, with locks, that there, um, you know, the government can get involved with income taxes. That, you know, this and that, the other thing. You have too many choices. Maybe I should just push one and not tell you about the others. But sometimes the others are, you know, you have to pick one. Have a plan. I don't care what your plan is. Have you heard me say that? Have a plan. I don't care what your plan is. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> um, uh, absolutely. Fam, Lori, uh, uh, K. Difficult to stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, and love playing. That's the problem. Have a, a bank. Great idea. Hard to use. Yeah, it's, it is hard to use the bank, even if you have it with you. Um, you know, this is... This is why slot machines are so much fun. They're, they're hard to get up from. And this is something where they aren't helping you. <laughs> uh, it's not to their benefit to help you. They have a, you know, a poster 
in the hallway where the elevators are saying 800, whatever, whatever, whatever for responsible gambling. That's the last you'll see of it. I mean, you might see it in the restrooms or something like that. And, and so, you know, training you, teaching you, that's what I'm trying to offer with the courses. The most basic stuff, you know, uh, casinos are, have low payouts in January and February for obvious reasons because most people spend money they can't afford to lose in Dece November and December, and we call that Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> and any business gets low business first two months of the year. So sales are down, and casinos see this, and so they make things tight as though that would help. I think if they went the other way, they would have better results, but maybe they've checked. This is all common sense. So these are the, you know, as somebody was saying last time that they're on the live stream, every time I learn something new. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, uh, I, I should um, I should say, uh, I should not laugh first before I read a comment. Um, some uh, Slots of Fun has cargo pants <laughs> and has 22 pockets ready to win big. Um, 22 smaller pockets, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so sure, if that works for you, um, you know, zippable pockets, uh, lockable pockets, you know, if somebody wants to, who who's into fashion design, wants to create a uh, uh, sportswear with a lockable pocket, but then that probably wouldn't work because the TSA agent will probably be like, what's in that pocket? And you'd be like, I know what's in there, but the lock is not here. No. Um, I used to say it at work because they understood this. Maybe you will too. Uh, engineering problems have engineering solutions. Uh, if someone said you have a beautiful home, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glancing to the side and I see that the carpenter bees have begun and I, um, I go grab a tennis racket. They're not pollen collectors, uh, so they don't pollinize, uh, pollinate. Um, and, and so I feel free to hit them with my badminton racket. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, right. So let's keep on working through these. And Shannon says, I went, this is just so much better. We have enough time to go through everything. Uh, I went with $80 for Kino last night, cashed out with $300. I feel good about leaving ahead and not chasing more. Yes. See, you need to do it. And then you get the positive reinforcement of not, um, you know, what's a clean way of saying uh, you don't suck? <laughs> you know, you, you don't feel terrible. You know, when you leave, you feel good. And that's reinforcement because I got closer when I was doing it, you know, it took me four times to get to, to successfully get into the habit of putting money in my deposit only pocket. Each, the first time, the second time, the third time, I got closer to the door. <laughs> and the, when I got home with it in my deposit only pocket, I had that wonderful feeling of having done that. And so that reinforced me the next time I went and it was possible to get to the door because I remember you want to have that feeling. You don't want to have the other feeling. Okay. Good for you. Uh, let's see here. What's next? <laughs> Cargo pockets. That's awesome. Uh, um, you know, check is the best. Now I have somewhere around here, my five bands that came to wrap $10,000. Um, I, my, it's honestly, it's, um, I think it's like a trophy, you know, Serial killers do it. <laughs> yeah. And so I kept trophies of the banded $10,000 bricks that they put in my hand. Because they don't count out $10,000, they put it in your hand. Some casinos will do $5,000, but the casinos that I was doing, that's it, my, my local ones, um, they, they put that in my hand, $10,000, a stack of 10, $100, $100 bills. And one time I got 
two bricks like that. But that's only, um, but, but you know, uh, that sort of thing is like a bad habit. Don't, don't do that. Um, I have stopped collecting my trophies as I want to uh, and getting checks. Let's see. Uh, Magpie says, um, well, okay, that the casino can be limiting how much uh, is, is being taken out. Um, uh, when you, you know, in, in Ohio, they have, in a, in a, you're in a town, you have about 4%, uh, 4.2% for state taxes, 1.8% uh, for city taxes. And if you don't live in a city too, well, anyway, uh, city taxes are just another whole topic, but uh, we are in sort of a tax frame of mind, or at least we've uh, after taxes, right? So after doing our tax preparation things, and it's still on our, a lot of our minds. Uh, and then on top of that, they allow 30%. Uh, they recommend 30% for federal. Uh, and so it all becomes about 38% total. Uh, but I could take out more if I wanted to into the state. But if you, you know, it, it's like giving the money, you know, the, the government's going to invest it for like a year, <laughs> up to a year. And I'd rather invest it myself. But if you're looking for draconian methods that will work, see if they will let you take out at your state, your casino, the full amount, the remainder or some of some fraction of it, not for income tax preparation purposes, but just to keep it out of your hands until refund time, assuming you get one. Don't do that without checking with your tax uh, uh, preparation purposes and income tax preparation purposes, uh, pre preparer. I am not one. Uh, check with a professional because they may have a fee for treating them like a savings account. Uh, and also you have to make sure that you do get um, uh, deductions so that you can get that back. I wouldn't want you to get penalties, but then if the penalty is less than what it might, what you, you know, losing it all because that's what happens otherwise, well, you know, you've got a simple choice ahead of you. But yes, that's a, that's a great warning, uh, Magpie 11, that some casinos don't let you take out the full amount. Good. Good to know. Um, sure. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Slots of fun, letting the government hold your money uh, interest free. Uh, that's that's a whole thing. But if you want a no to know something that will work, that is a draconian method. It's there for you, unless you know it's not. Like Magpie Eleven says. Uh, some of the people that went to Las Vegas are talking to each other. That's good. Uh, question. Excellent. Somebody used <laughs> PNT de Black has used question. Um, the second person, the first person had hashtag, hashtag question. <laughs> so you're second. Uh, okay. Uh, San Manuel Band of Indians is reopening the Palms in Las Vegas uh, on 427. Do you think it's a good time to go? Yes. I think that you put this in, uh, but then you added a uh, hashtag question, and I've already answered it, but in case you are still listening, uh, yes, it's a great time to go. Uh, see ABC27, uh, professorslots.com slash ABC27 is a link to their website uh, where it, they talk for a few minutes and include an interview of me about why that is. And it's been closed for so long that, you know, uh, the opinion is among people I've talked with this uh, the, the, in the paid community with is pointed some of this out to me about how long it's been closed and what's likely to happen. And yeah, it's a good time. Now, in some casinos, for instance, uh, Caesars Cincinnati, uh, that was the first year was great. The second year was pretty good. The third year, they just took all your money, all the money back. So that's the arrangement that they made with the investors. 
to how long the investors would have to wait for that. And so first year, it was just amazing. You know, there was no downtown Cincinnati casino. The local, um, uh, what is it called? Coney Island was closed. It had a, a racetrack next to it with a slots parlor that was being renovated, tore it down, moved it down the road, lifted the track so it wouldn't be flooded by the Ohio River. You know, major renovation. And while all that was happening, Caesars opened a a Cincinnati downtown uh, casino. And to teach everybody how to win, well, I got in on that. I won 54 hand pays uh, between the middle of November and the end of December. You know, it, it should have started earlier. They opened in March. Um, but I was checking it out and new to the area, and that's what I saw. And a lot of this I've written down about why and et cetera. But Miami Valley Gaming, north on I-75 from Cincinnati, about 30 miles or so, um, is has that on their first month. Not their first year, kind of their second year, definitely not their third year, but it was their first month. And there's... You know, New Hampshire shows all this. It's If you look at historical data, and it takes a little while to dig this stuff out, I actually am doing this, and it's just like zero views on, <laughs> on, on YouTube. Maybe if I, uh, you know, work on my kind of presentation and and uh, uh, and maybe people will actually look at a graph or, or something. Is it too small, small a print? I understand that, um, you know, you know the math joke, right? Everybody hates math until that paycheck looks a little funny. All right, everybody hates math until that hand pay looks a little funny. <laughs> that's that's my version of it. Um, so, question. Sandy, you didn't use the hashtag. Um, every time I hit a jackpot, I want to stay, thinking I'm going to hit another jackpot, which I don't always do. I want, uh, I need to r- win and run. Now, we are all advanced users here, or, well, the paid community on Thursday night is advanced users who's all taken my course. And so we can have conversations about stuff that's not in the course, like combining strategies and et cetera. Are you a newbie or are you experienced? Because when you're a newbie, run and win, or win and run, (laughs) win and run, win and run. But Once you start to know what you're doing, there is the question, is this a winning machine? How do I check? And that's what I included earlier in the presentation was if you win anything more than what you brought in, leave. If you win as much or half, then put this much away. If you win half or from a quarter to half of what you brought in, do this. And if and and if you win, you know, something, but it's less than a quarter of what you brought in, do this other thing. So there's like four different scenarios. You can choose for yourself in advance. Do I stay and evaluate or do I leave? You can get it wrong. But if you start the discussion with yourself, that's how you get better you'll catch these opportunities. One thing you could easily do is I will, you know, depending on the amount that your bank, you know, it could be anything. I don't want to uh, be specific because it could be whatever people take in. But you can say, I'm going to, I want hundreds of dollars. I'm going to take $100 and I'm going to check that machine to see if it's over or not. Right? Uh, I talked about it, was it two weeks ago? about using the five pull method to assess the casino, even when you knew that casino had the five pull method, because you're not checking to see if they have it. You're checking to see how are they doing right now on a Tuesday at three o'clock on the returns. Ooh, terrible. Maybe they'll be better at seven o'clock or maybe Wednesday or, you know, they can move them up. They, they can adjust the payout returns to wherever they want them based on their business. Oh, there's some limitations, but uh, normally they don't even approach that. 75% minimum theoretical payout on some state gaming laws. I think I looked up, it was, uh, 
uh, oh yeah, um, so 25 states have a minimum theoretical payout. Uh, 13 states, 14 if you include o Oregon, uh, have a maximum theoretical payout, which is you know 100 or less. Uh, so 14 different states won't, won't let you set a winning machine. Won't let the casino handicaps the casinos, so they can't do this thing where they like set one machine to win and all the others lower and just watch people flock to that machine not being able to get on it and then go to the same game theme next to it in the row and spend money uh but they're not on the winning machine even though it's the same game theme and this is common but not in 15 uh, 14 uh, 14 states gets a little bit more complicated than that maybe i'll have a live stream because one of the things is is it per wager or is it over the lifetime of the machine it usually says right there in the um, uh, gaming regulations and if it's over the lifetime of the machine maybe the machine's five years old in the first two and a half years it was just like a winner but that committed them to being uh keeping the machine for another two and a half years where it's only losing so that you know over its lifetime while they have it it meets the requirement but then per wager it's like, wow, you know, how do you win on that machine at 14 different states? Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> these are, uh, I had a post recently, uploaded a video about states are weird. <laughs> and they're, they're as individual as, I don't know, individuals, you know. Um, some of them are your Aunt Trudy and others are your cousin bob who uh, has interesting hobbies <laughs> uh, magpie 11 thank you very much she gave me the phonetic phonetic pronunciation of yamava <laughs> formerly known as san manuel which by the way i'm also pronouncing mispronouncing i think uh, but they no longer have that name okay uh right so, <laughs> um, Steve is saying NFL draft next weekend. Las Vegas will be crazy and probably tighten up some. Uh, what's uh, what's just your my opinion? Um, yeah, if you're there, uh, go easy. You know, I, I, two weeks ago I talked about how to assess a casino uh, to see if it's paying out. Uh, you know, minimum bets, twenty different machines, five bets, uh, up to five bets on each one, and just you know, thank you, Magpie Eleven, for suggesting this little detail that you know it's a way to assess your casino to see how it's doing right now. Costs a little bit of money, but then you get some valuable information you can't get otherwise. Now, I have said you can look around and see if people are winning, but sometimes <clears throat> at Yamava and other, you know, Hard Rock Tampa, it is so large that um and we are at one hour and i'm gonna take a drink of water so that i can last another hour um so if you have to go you have to go but um this we're just now getting to um everybody showing up so wonderful and let's see how this goes but what is my opinion about uh las vegas sorry uh, those bees again <clears throat> You know, it, think of it this way. What works for the casino? They've got an extra large crowd. On the weekends in Nevada cities, not just Las Vegas, in Nevada cities, people come for, for vacation on the weekends from California. They, they drive other places they fly. And weekends are super busy. If it's a holiday weekend, then it's more busy what's bigger than super super califragilistic expialidocious you know it's it's huge and what do they do well it, it, you know don't gamble on the weekends if you're a local they don't you know they see what the locals do and learn from them their their experience and uh you know reno las vegas downtown the strip when they have a crowd it's hard um, I enjoy crowds occasionally, once a year, <laughs> um, and uh, that's why I like to go to Las Vegas on the 4th of July. I don't think I'll be going this this year, and I didn't go last year, and I need a vacation, but whatever. Um, and, but, you know, that's that's just glorious. 
people watching and all that. But it's not a great time. As I, <clears throat> as I learned, it's not a great time to play slots. So what do I think about the NFL draft and how busy will it be? Eh, assess and decide. Uh, I think in general it won't be. But then, you know, April is kind of the vacation month. And part of May is kind of the vacation month. So, um, you know, be prepared to check and then roll with it. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Makepie 11 says, well, uh, uh, even now, the, you know, I was saying that April would be great. Well, it looks like towards the end of April, they're tightening up because of the NFL draft and people coming in for that. So these are all, you know, get to know what's going on in Las Vegas if that's where you want to go. Uh, uh, the people who were there last week, some of them went to um, Resorts World, and it was it was tight. And after however many years, the Palms has been closed and that they're, you know, renovated and rebuilt and now is opening. When did they choose to open it? All the times they chose to open it. Oh, the week of the NFL draft. Hmm. You know, the, the, the casino knows that they can get a boost from that. If, if you know, if they were the single casino that, was, had, that wasn't tight during an NFL draft, which replicates conditions on the weekends when crowds come and Las Vegas and Reno and Tahoe all know what to do, right? Uh, they tighten up. And if they were to be the normal amount of tightness or maybe not tight, what kind of kickoff would that give Palms? I think it would give them a great kickoff. Uh, and because they've already told their investors that the first however month or year, uh, whatever it turns out to be, is going to be, you know, you'll get paid after that. Yeah, that could solidify their relationship. And it's all, you know, a month, the first month, minimum. Okay. Uh, and... Lots of fun. Has another question. <laughs> uh, just lots of fun. Says question: Is the other live chat going to be live and free too? What other kind of? Oh, um, right. Thursday nights within the paid community, Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, which you get one month free of as a bonus. For the taking for taking the course, but otherwise, if you're not taking the course, um, you you can sign up, uh, and it's a monthly fee. And on Thursday nights, we have a group meeting. Which I'm sorry, Meg Pyle, and I did see that you had joined like a couple of minutes after everybody left. The one person that left, um, you guys are all in Las Vegas. I understood that. I'm getting new members added all the time, and one of them came to Thursday night, and I saw that you join after I sat there and okay, I guess we're done. You know, uh, 50 minutes into it um, or so. So my apologies for not sticking around and seeing if anybody was going to show up. So uh, that's ongoing. That's separate. Uh, a YouTube live, a live stream. It's like this. That's what I was going to do is offer more of them. One or two. Now, should I offer more live Zoom meetings within the paid community? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. It might be better to uh, offer a different time because I know some people are. Oh, well, anyway, thanks for the inspiration and thinking about that. Uh, Magpie 11 says five pull worked for the most part, but didn't cover your initial bankroll. Location may seem to the best, but you have to invest to get a bonus. Uh, there you go. I don't want to take away from uh, what Magpie 11 said. Uh, she, Magpie 11 knows what they're talking about. Uh, and Sarah Nessa, 
uh, came home from Las from Vegas the Vegas trip with half my bankroll, so not a total loss. Uh, a great trip overall. Uh, one of the things I talk about in my uh, playlist about uh, bankroll money management is there's a few things to do before you go, and there's a few things to do after you went that are valuable, like a debriefing. Are you satisfied with how much you brought home? What got in the way of preventing that? Can you work on? What you know? Do you plan on going back this time again next year, or would you rather not go the week before the NFL draft, or are they even having it next year, and in Las Vegas? So there's a debriefing that you can do. Particularly, I like to point out in my consultations with people, what would you do next time? And writing it down will actually help you remember, you know, six months from now or whenever it is the next time you're in Las Vegas. Uh, PNT de Black, uh, please use question. Uh, is it a hashtag question? Is it a consensus that Baldera tends to have loose slots? That question is not for me, uh, which I understand. And Chuck says, uh, that was my experience as well. I had a great time, but only came home with half my bankroll. Uh, <laughs> Chuck says, and Chuck is a joker. He's uh, pushed it a little bit with my moderator on occasion. <laughs> and who noticed? Um, uh, Chuck says, I'd like to officially offer my new service, helping people take their winnings home. Give them to me and I'll make sure they leave the casino. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughs to show that he's joking. Um, you know, uh, you might want to try and uh, find somebody that you know to be uh, um, like your, you know, one of the things you can do is give it to a spouse. You know, the, often, often a partner is uh, a, a good person to uh, give money to. Um, you might have a lifetime habit, a relationship long habit of giving them uh, having them take care of the finances for you, or maybe you're the one that takes care of finances and they'll hand it off to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the slot machine, the machines get hypnotizing. Uh, there's medical terms for it uh, where, you know, basically you're kind of getting into the zone. Um, the, the Australian Research Center, uh, the, it's, it's the government, of Australia has created a research center for gamblers. And they talk about just these things. I haven't found it in any other gaming jurisdictions, any other country, or they quite get into it like Australia does saying, you know, how are the game design set up to lull you into a sense of being hypnotized and what might the game do to kind of create that feeling in you? So if you want to go look up uh, Australian Research Center, where center is spelled C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, uh, you know, go check out some of those research articles. I, I'm finding them fascinating. And maybe sometime I'll bring them, bring them more into this uh, group. But uh, again, it's, um, you know, for psychologists <laughs> and and uh, you know specialists, and if I can find something valuable there, I'll share it that I think you guys would appreciate. I'll share it with you. Uh, Camilla V, can you comment on taking no credit or debit card into the casino only cash to keep from losing control? Oh, sure, yeah, absolutely. Um, put leave it in the car. You know, you might need to get gas on the way home. So, you know, I was, I, I went to my second casino, Lakeside Casino in uh, Nebraska on the uh, uh, east side next to Iowa, near Omaha. And I, that was the second casino I went to. And I was going to go to the hotel, go to a hotel and say, can I spend the night? You know, it's, I went to the home Omaha zoo when I was in graduate school and it's quite a drive from central Iowa hours and hours. And I'm like, well, before I go into the casino, maybe I should get a room. And I went into the casino and they said, no, uh, cash only won't take a credit card. And I thought to myself, wow, 
So they're not taking credit cards because when they go to charge you, it could be maxed out. So they're only taking cash in advance. You know, that's, that was that warned me of some of the dangers. So, yes, um, credit cards, debit cards, don't take them into the casino with you. But that's loss limits, okay? That's slightly different topic, very relatable, how to avoid losing more than you want to spend. And that's loss limits, and that's something I focus on. We're focusing on preserving gains. So you won. How do I keep it? But, uh, yeah, uh, there's plenty of things to do to, to establish loss limits. Uh, one of them is to keep your credit cards at home and, and your debit cards at home or in such a way that you still have a way to pay for gas if you need to on the way home or for emer- emergencies. So it's all very kind of like um, you have to find out what works best for your situation. But, you know, lock them up in your car. These will hold a credit card. So, uh, and if it's locked up, the keys at home. So you really have to think about the best way to have, you know, use your loss limits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're all supporting uh, Chuck in the live chat. We're all supporting Chuck's decision to hold the money, hold your money him to hold your money for you. <laughs> How much are you going to charge? 100%. Uh, so Steve was in Las Vegas and walked into a casino floor to see how others were doing. Location was hard at times. These casinos are very large and big. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. I'm sorry to laugh at the comments, but my moderator is like being a school teacher with a ruler. Uh, and, you know, uh, Paula, you don't have to say for the second hour. Um, uh, I'll, I'll watch for uh, <laughs> scammers. Um, yeah, only take cash. Sure. Uh, and that's that loss limits are something to watch for. We should have an entirely entire show on loss limits at some point. Uh, yes, there's there's all kinds of ways. Uh, your phone has uh, Google Pay, Apple Pay. You know, there's all different kinds of ways to access funds you don't want to access uh, these days. Um, opening a credit line. You know, we don't need to go over them. Uh, it is a if if it's a problem. You know, I use if it's a problem, uh, it's a problem, and. Uh, we get very innovative in trying to overcome, you know, to get things. But hopefully you can put up enough of a, 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 to get things we shouldn't have. And so hopefully you can put up enough of a barrier that you go, wait a minute, what am I doing? And that's my judgment on this. <laughs> um, so there's a... Uh, Chuck, again, conversations. Uh, Chuck's calling this. Uh, there's a human winner's bank, 200. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yes, I have new merchandise. Uh, Jason, thank you for mentioning it. If you go to Professor Slots, um, I'm trying to find the best way to kind of put this without being too pushy about it. Um, let's see here. There. So this is my website, professorslots.com. If you go all the way to the bottom, right down here is merchandise. And if we go there, uh, I, I change it up. Uh, by the way, there is nine days left, no, eight days left to 50% off of everything in the shop. Uh, and then that's it. It's a deal that I got from the new vendor that I'm using for merchandise. It's their 15% off not anything I did. And so I'm just letting you know. Uh, so if you go to uh, here, there is uh, all these different things. But uh, if I click on all products, that's, they say it works better if you don't have like 127 different products, including, you know, uh, with one saying on it, that might be 
you know, baby's clothes and, <laughs> and, and aprons. I'm offering these uh, seven uh, selections. Actually, there's, yes, a, a, a T-shirt for men and women, a travel mug, a polo shirt. So glad to get polo shirts. It says on the corner on, on each one of these, payroll size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. $100, $500, whatever. And so there's a minimum because they're raising the minimum bets. But uh, this is a saying I heard here, I made here, and uh, this is me talking, so I can have it on a hat and all this other stuff. This is, again, professorslots.com slash merchandise, uh, and you can just find it here at the very bottom of any of my websites, uh, web pages. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, in other news, I'm podcast episodes. I was thinking about doing several a week that didn't work out. I hope that the having a live stream, several live streams a week will work out. Uh, this is, um, again, we're in our second hour here. I planned on going uh, for another 40 minutes. We'll see what the questions are. I haven't gotten to all of them. And you may not be used to that. I understand it may take a little while for people to understand, you know, this is available. So, uh, and when I look at the numbers, uh, people kind of left at about an hour, but then they're like, what, it's still going on? And so we have more right now than we have had in the whole uh, pre preceding hour and 20 minutes, which is the whole reason I noticed this was happening, but then I cut it off. And so now um, if you have questions, uh, um, there you go. Uh, Paula, uh, bought the travel mug and uh, she says that she really likes it. So there, there you go. Testimonial. I, I did try to find a place that uh, is reputable. That is, uh, makes, you know, items of good material. And if it, uh, sells, then I'll, I'll do more of it. If it doesn't sell, then I won't waste my time. Uh, yes, Magpie 11. Certainly, I understand if you have to leave, you, uh, you have to leave. Uh, Paula, if you have to leave, I, I, I'm, <laughs> she does all this for free for me. And, um, you know, asking for her to do it for two hours multiple times a week is, uh, uh, you know, she's very generous by offering with, uh, an hour. Um, so, Rachel, you are not late, uh, but, um, you know, you're here now, and that's great. Uh, yes, uh, as uh, Pam says, uh, please uh, like and uh, the, the video, it will uh, help bring in support uh, without any cost to you. Okay, Ron Jones has a question. Can you explain the psychological tricks casinos use to get you to stay and play? Offer you drinks. Not show you where clocks are. I went to fire keepers and I could not find my way out. Where's the exit? <laughs> Seriously, where's the exit? And, and, you know, not just that casino. So, uh, you know, right there, top of my head, uh, three ways. Um, also, the aisles often are not straight lines. They weave. Which way is north? You know, have you, have you been to a large factory? Have you worked in a large factory? Every once in a while, they have a little, like, compass on the intersection, and it says north. <laughs> North that way. Yeah. Amazing. I, it was three years at one place in Connecticut that I worked at. Um, the first time I was uh, hired as an aerospace engineer. Uh, before that was graduate school and, you know, I had the jobs to support going to school. And when I went there, I, it was three years uh, out of the six years that I was there, right around in, in year three, uh, I, I was like, which way is North? I don't know, but then they came out with iPhones that you can like use the app that was a compass, and I was like, "Oh, that way is north." Okay, <laughs> um, and and this is just it. Uh, if you if you are tired, uh, any way they can make you tired, any way they can make you intoxicated, any way they can make you stuff you with food, you know, all these things have a real and psychological effect on you, and it's not for the better. Uh, if you're talking about games, uh, I think you know, loud, you just, you know, volume turned up to medium automatically when anybody 
you know, puts their card in, it resets to not being off. There is no off on a lot of these machines anymore. It's just you can lower it, but it's not set to lower. It's it's always brought back up when there's a new player puts their money and card in. And okay, so we're at six. You know, you want more? I should do a video. Yeah, you might call it psychological tricks, but it, you can also call it human nature. They're taking advantage of human nature. Uh, Steve says, I walked the casino floor. This is uh, during Las Vegas trip, right? Okay. Uh, to see how it was paying the casino, have the music turned up so the casino sounds busy. Yes. Uh, for, you know, you're from Wisconsin. I know your casinos are busy. Every casino is busy. But then you go to places like during the NFL draft in Las Vegas, like next week, or uh, Yamava. Uh, formerly San Manuel or H, uh, Hard Rock, Florida, Tampa. And you don't know what crazy is, right? Until it's, it's, um, they used to tell me at, at work, <laughs> and I, that's they're trying to make a point because it did happen. If you pull your hand out of a bucket of water, the, you are the bucket, you are the hand in the bucket of water and you're, uh, being gone once you leave is filled in so fast that you don't even notice it. It's like pulling your hand out of a bucket of water. That's how fast it is. There's so many people there that you slip out of a slot machine and somebody's already sitting down before you're half out. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We did find, uh, um, we had a member for a little while, uh, Jim, uh, who went to Hard Rock, Florida, he did some searching around and he found that two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday was the only slow day, only slow hour out of the whole week there where you could actually get up, you know, play a few machines uh, because they were unoccupied. Two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. So if you're in a busy casino like that, maybe you uh, should try two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday because that's kind of like typical. Uh, right. Okay, so Slots of Fun says, is the five pool method just for games with hand tables? No. I, could... I stopped calling it the five pull method. It's still on some of my videos. I still sometimes say it because that was not the first thing I thought of. It's actually originally in the book called Win Immediately. But you know what? <laughs> I'm terrible at marketing. That's terrible marketing. <laughs> so I called it the five pull method, which uh, went sideways on me, shall we say? And I had to change it. Uh, let's just say it's because not every machine has a handle. I will go with that. But um, uh, uh, the third title is Five Spin Method. It's descriptive. It is easy to remember. People get it wrong, but at least they have an idea what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, it's not as complicated as up to five spin method. <laughs> and so now people can look at it and get the gist of what I'm talking about. But if they want more details, then they have to watch the video or join a live stream. Are we still live? Paula says, um, are, uh, are we still live? I think we're still live. Yeah. Um, we are at an hour and a half. Um, I will uh, keep an eye on comments uh, and make sure that, you know, if we run out of comments, then we'll I'll end the show uh, or we'll end it in something like half an hour. Uh, so let's keep going. Uh, and Paula, you didn't say hashtag question. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, right. So right now I'm not getting a lot of viewers on, on YouTube. It's a kind of <clears throat> everybody's going out and and doing stuff instead of watching YouTube. Also, a lot more people were watching YouTube during the being sequestered, being um, uh, isolated uh, for the last couple of years. So right now it, I'm not worried about it. It's just something that happens. Uh, and so uh, I expect us to get 
just this huge number of people probably in a month or so and no worries uh and so thank you for uh you know being here yourself uh, i think it's like 78 today i should have turned on the air conditioner it's nice um so we have a concert tonight at my local i plan on hitting the floor about 4 a.m tomorrow tomorrow morning yeah uh have you done it before i mean just to see if the casino thinking in terms of is it how the casino has set itself up because we take advantage of the casinos in in the way that they've set themselves up. And if they choose not to have the five spin method, then they don't have the five spin method. If they choose not to um, have this accounting practice that you're using for the morning after promotions uh, and, and to take that advantage of them, I'm just wondering, is this the first time you, you're going for the first time to your casino and seeing if it, they, they have this this setup so that you can take advantage of it or have you gone in the past and made you know seen others win and gone you know we got to come back uh, and so i'm just kind of where are you on your slots journey uh yeah I, uh, someone said the connection might have been uh, uh dropped there is uh i want the farmland in Ohio and I've got the best connection money can buy, which is not much money and not much connection. But uh, if it's blurry, I can never tell if it's because your reception is bad or my reception is bad or both of our receptions is bad. Um, I just can't tell. Uh, Matthew says hello from the Fior suite at the at the Brigada. Uh, Brigada. Uh, great. Uh, lost, uh, Atlantic City. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> uh, and uh, someone says, I bought my first car with a slot machine jackpot winnings. Uh, congratulations. I could have bought a car uh, if I had, uh, uh, with my $27,000 win, if I had been able to leave <laughs> with with my winnings, as, as much as my winnings as I could have. Uh, instead, I, I spent far too much on that. But on the other hand, I have experience to say yeah I, I get how hard it is to leave i up to then i never i i, I actually won a five thousand dollar jackpot like twice uh hand pay and then i uh, i went in the next morning the day after a busy uh evening at the casino and at five ten, like um patricia was just saying i think um you know i won twenty seven thousand dollars and i thought i was prepared to win because I'd won a couple of $500 hand pays. And it turns out there's always more <laughs> and there's always a limit. And even if you don't know, it's there. Uh, so I got nervous. And I remember even saying, uh, to say the least, I remember asking the slot, slot enthusiast to pinch me. You really want me to pinch you? And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, it was like that. Okay, uh, question. Mark says, "Did you have many? Uh, did you have many successes with the minimum five spin method going, uh, do, going good pays and have them feeling to go max bet at eight dollars for five spin and win a jackpot? It happened to me winning twenty five hundred last night. First of all, hand, uh, congratulations, congratulations on your hand pay, and second of all, you got it right." It's like you took the course, you know, you, you check to see with minimum bets if it's the five spin method works. And then if it's paying, two separate things. And the second one can be on a Tuesday, but not a Thursday. So you check each time, even if you know it has a five spin method, but okay, okay, you went in, you made minimum bets you saw how it was going and then you decided on some other bet which was not minimum now you made eight dollar bets but somebody else with a hundred dollar bankroll could just make more than the minimum bet or just stick with minimum bets or uh you know it's just a matter of being patient so whatever your bet amount is that you're comfortable with that's what you switch to from minimum bets or it remains minimum bets. Uh, congratulations, you did it right. Well done. Uh, 
Uh, Magpie 11 says, we didn't think Vegas needs to court people this April and May. Uh, Vegas is busy. Yes. Uh, it's not June burning hot. It's not rain. Uh, well, I know rain is hard. Uh, it doesn't happen very much, but it gets kind of cold. Uh, um, you know, January and February, but you can get some great deals then. And of course, Californians, they come anyway. Getting through the mountains in March can have uh, uh, snow. I got like a wasp over here that's outside. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, but going through the mountains, uh, driving to Las Vegas uh, can have a lot of snow, uh, even as late as March. I've been there you know, during the end of February. Uh, went to Las Vegas, uh, just driving through, left three days later. <laughs> We all have our stories. Uh, when I uh, was in living in Iowa, and I wanted to just you know drive out that way and go see, I think the um, Death Valley was had wildflowers in bloom about that time. But I, the north rim of the Grand Canyon was closed due to snow, and the south rim was was open. And so yeah, um, sometimes there's limitations due to weather, and even though it's in a desert, you have to pass through some mountains to get there, and that can be a lot of snow. But yeah, um, I'm not su too surprised. <laughs> um, yes, uh, I, 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 uh, Chuck is great for the protection. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, consulting, uh, consult consultings. Uh, they they're saying I admit I almost always lose the money back if I win. Yes, I mean this is this is the priority of my having this live stream. It is common. People don't know how to do it, but it's not just that. I'm teaching people how to win. I've, I I mentioned this in the past. This is why I decided to have a whole live stream on it in the first two hour live stream. If you learn how to win. Like I'm teaching people how to win. There, you know, there's entire casinos where the whole place is like everybody's doing the five spin method, and then the general manager knows about it. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's gonna change in a year. <laughs> but in the meantime, everybody, you know, was it last week? Somebody came out and said, "You're famous. Everybody's doing it," and that's great. People come to me and they say, "How do I win?" And I say, it's easy. It isn't up to you. I mean, you have to kind of like check for this, that, and the other thing. That's up to you. But your casino has a strategy, a operating system, a approach to manipulating you. And, you know, give you a, a win within the first five bets. And then you are supposed to spend that all the money you brought with you, go get some more. That's what they expect. And it works, except, you know, it works on you. Except now people are learning from each other, from the course, from, you know, uh, what I'm trying to tell them. They're learning to win. And the next problem turns out, so they want to win. They need you're a business person, maybe it says on your uh, title, you'll understand this. They want to win. They need to learn to keep it. It's not easy. Part of the reason it's not easy is they haven't got any practice at it. They've only recently learned to win. And now they're just like, well, there's a second part? Yeah, getting out. <laughs> Okay, um, next question. Uh, uh, so uh, Australia, Australia is, I've been talking to some people there, you know, YouTube is worldwide. And I've been, it's interesting, the, the, um, the gaming regulations, there also, it's also interesting uh, that they have a lot of small casinos. But a few cities have what you would actually call a casino and not just like a convenience store in Oklahoma. 
where they have a little shack in the back or something like that. So there, there's, there's a dichotomy. There's a, there's a, uh, you know, group up here of, of, uh, uh, you know, lots going on. And then there's, a, uh, you know, with the actual casino that you might find anywhere or, or you know, in the United States, uh, the major ones, and then you have lesser. And that's kind of like two different situations out there. But, um, uh, and I, this is not a live stream about Australian gambling, playing the pokies, uh, but you had a question and the question was, uh, heard of a point cusher channel, Australia has no gambling tax, like so many others, Canada, uh, but increased income tax during COVID. He said it paid to take a day off work to go gambling. Uh, I would assume that this is old news, uh, or is it, is COVID over? <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> never, uh, right? So, um, you know, there, I am trying to talk to people who are new to my channel uh, so that I can grow. Uh, live streams are a community event where people come a few like a few new people come i can see the statistics for this but a lot of people are like you know every time i learn something new and so uh i'm trying to not always have a conversation like i would in my slots uh, my, my slots enthusiast growth network my paid community where i know people have taken the course and we're talking about advanced stuff and so Yes, there are tax advantages. There are, um, you know, uh, ways to save the mon your money through tax, uh, federal income tax withdrawal uh, withholdings, and then there's a maximum on that. And there's all these details. But I, you know, let's just get everybody winning. Let's just get everybody winning to get that money home, and that way I can help the most. This is why I have consultations, okay? What about my situation where it's whatever? And that's why I offer them. I, 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 can, I have to address most problems many people ask in order to have a business. That's what this is for. But, you know, that is, I, I'm the top gambler at a tribal casino and uh, casino. I don't mean that in the top tier, I mean the top, top gambler, you know, by far uh, millions spent per month, a million dollars spent per month. Okay. You know, pay $150 for a live consultation. We'll go over some of your specific questions. You know, I'll prepare in advance, ask you, tell me what you need to know and we'll work it out, hash it out. It's an investment. Um, but most people are just like, can you tell me quick? And I say five spin method and they say, got it. Five spin on every machine. I'm like, no, no, up to, up to, <laughs> but, uh, you know, this stuff can get complicated. Um, uh, consult, uh, consulting says I hit my very first hand pay, very first hand pay. Yay. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, uh, congratulations on your very first hand pay. Uh, uh, that is wonderful. Uh, Five dollar machine last week. Where were you? Maybe you'll say. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Camilla says lockbox with key at home. Good idea. I don't have uh, phone pay, so that's not a temptation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern society, you know, don't reply to that spam email. <laughs> you know, uh, don't click that link in uh, your your uh, uh, phone comments from somebody you don't know. It this is modern. This is modern life, right? <laughs> uh, man, Chuck, you're getting a lot of use out of that human uh, uh, um, uh, human winners bank two hundred. Uh, Matthew says the carpets and casinos are designed to make you feel turbulent. I was taking photos of my uh, free stuff, my comps on the floor 
of the casino. So I, you know, was collecting all these wins and, you know, filling a, the spare bedroom with it. And I happened to look past the gift and I was like, you know, all those wavy lines <laughs> on the, in the carpeting, it's just like, wow. You know, if I, if they had a straight aisle, it didn't curved, could I walk it? Um, and then, you know, I, I was in a, a Las Vegas, uh, was it uh, Caesar's Palace and, and uh, going to my room where I was staying for my uh, seven stars stuff on 4th of July. And somebody was on the other side of the aisle, obviously, and I was going to breakfast and obviously they'd been up all night and they were kind of like walking this way while they're looking straight forward and they're just basically heading for me and I had a feeling they were going to throw up on me when they got to me. So I just like, get out of the way. <laughs> um, uh, all I'm saying is sometimes we can't walk a straight line <laughs> for other reasons that the casino provides like free drinks uh, in, on the Las Vegas strip where you can walk outside. Uh, T A, uh, Tia, I guess I'll say, can you apply the same techniques to online slots? I have something called bank the bonus, which you can search for on online. It's taking and modifying the five spin method, uh, for online where you're not waiting for a taste. If you, have watched that video and you know what I'm talking about. Instead, you're what you're waiting for the first bonus, and then you switch games. So up to the first bonus, up to the first bonus, up to the first bonus, uh, and then you switch, and then you switch, and then you switch. And some people are finding that to work uh, great. Now the other thing, similar to what I was telling you about with ProfessorSocks.com/abc27, my interview with Harrisburg, Pennsylvania's Evening News, ABC channel. Uh, uh, um, one of the things that you can do is take advantage of, of newly opened online slots, gaming jurisdictions. Ah, don't bite me. This is who I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, nibble. Um, <laughs> and, um, right. So that's Kiri. Uh, so uh, the point I'm making is that um, uh, for online slots, you can, oh, what is, oh, I got distracted by my cat biting my hand, nibbling on my hand. Um, on the five spin method, uh, you can change it to bank the bonus. Uh, and the other, the, and that's one method to win it online slots. You can check it and see if it works for you and where you go. But the other one is if it's a newly established gaming jurisdiction for online slots, it could be the first month or the first year in which they're trying to establish themselves. And the easiest way to do that in slots is do what, do what brick and mortar casinos do. Let people win. Tell your investors as you started the company that you're running that, hey, man, you're not going to get paid till the second year, but then we'll have a bunch of customers and have built a base and we're just going to suck them dry. <laughs> and, you know, not to laugh at, at people taking advantage of that way, but that's what online brick and mortar, that's what, that's what brick and mortar casinos do when they, you know, they were a cornfield and now they're a casino and you can look at, you can see it in the stats. It's up and then down and never goes that high again in 20 years or whatever. Uh, it's interesting. As I was saying, it can get complicated. And one of the things that you can look into is, so what if a casino opens like six months later? And they will actually do, they'll start low and they'll go high. Because the first casinos paid to establish casinos in a region that didn't have it but the second casino six months later doesn't have that obligation to do that so you know going back to palms opening in four days in las vegas after not being open it's still a little open in my mind about well anybody who's in las vegas that is aware that there is gambling but it's still enough to get an edge probably because of how long it was closed. They still need to get people to their location. They're in, you know, how, it must be terrible. While they're on the strip, we just got to get them in the door. 
So it might be first month, first week, first month. Um, it's lots of fun, says, have had volume change when denomination changed or enter bonus games, even when we have turned it down. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, absolutely. I, I've, I, it's, it jumps out at you. It's something you don't consciously watch for unless you consciously watch for it. Uh, I, I, I turn the volume down and now I like, there is no off. It's just low and low is just like speaking level voice. You know, it's, it's not what I would call low. It's, it's just not hurting my ears and that's high. And it's, it's just, you know, why wouldn't, why wouldn't casinos do that? The more they can distract you, the more they can interrupt your conversation. I was surprised. I, I asked my uh, group, my paid community, would you like to, and this is not an advertisement. I'm just saying I asked them and I, I'm asking some of these questions to my larger audience as well, but it takes time. Uh, I asked them, do you wear hearing protection when you go to the casino? And most have said, I like to hear what's going on. Okay. Um, so if, if, if the casinos have done the same survey through their gaming, their, their, their course, uh, their um, club, then yeah, sure, uh, they know. So Tia asked the same question twice. I didn't skip it, Tia. Uh, yeah, uh, Janet says, I don't go to uh, Hard Rock Tampa anymore because that's crazy. <laughs> yes, my, my father is in the area over in uh, Winter Haven, and uh, he can he likes uh, Seminole Brighton, and I did an article on that uh, there. Um, what was it? I wrote an article on it, but it's been a while since I've been there, certainly before COVID. Um, and was it the five spin method? That worked well there on the, uh, when I was there. Uh, have I been to Hollywood Casino, Toledo, Ohio? Um, you're talking about Hollywood Dayton. No, you're talking about Toledo. Um, I was at Hollywood Dayton Wednesday, um, but uh, Hol Hollywood Toledo is a three hours away, something like that. Uh, and I have been there and I haven't done an official review where I spend um, Three hundred dollars. I evaluate it. Uh, partly, I try to go from Kentucky to Indiana to um, Ohio to Michigan, and then I'm sort of like spiraling outward to maybe Illinois, and then uh, you know make a flight to Louisiana, that sort of thing. So I haven't been to Hollywood, Toledo. Uh, do I have? Do I have the returns on that? I might have the returns on that. I'm gonna quickly check to see do i have i might have the returns on that let me ch uh, check to see if i've done that for michigan yet it takes a while to oh no ohio right uh, it takes a little while to where is it oh there it is it's under oh john and let me see if i have any data that I've converted. I've, I've done, I know I've done Miami Valley gaming for the return percents. Uh, I mean, you, I can give you my opinion, uh, but I'd rather give you data. So let's see here. November, September. So do I have any data? I'm, a, I'm you know, I, the Ohio. Yeah, I, I've only done, I've only done Miami Valley gaming. For that, that's something I, I I plan on working on each week is to go through the twenty states, nineteen states uh, that have uh, return statistics. Okay, <laughs> use the right keyboard, John. Um, okay, so just going by feeling, I walked in uh, maybe two years ago, and I was just like, Yeesh. it it. I'd heard good things about. Toledo reviving itself, uh, but I went to that casino and they had um, barriers so that you couldn't drive the car through the lobby. 
and um, just seemed a little excessive, probably for good reason, right? So I, I didn't get a good impression of it. But if you're asking how to win, whether this method or that method works, I haven't gone in. Um, also on Wednesday, I went to Belterra Park uh, and I was standing there. I'm, I'm trying to find out if I can get something from marketing from these local casinos. And I don't want to say what that is before, if I can, you know, I want to see if I can do it first. But uh, I was standing there and noticing I can't help it. I, I, I just, I see location, 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 wherever I go. And I say, well, if that casino has it, then it would be that machine or that machine. And I'm sitting there, standing there talking to the um, guard uh, that lets people into the entrance. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, the person is playing that and uh, there's a hand pay. I'm like, yep. And then, you know, I went over to this other one. I'm walking by uh, and I'm like, oh, is that one or that one? And then I, you know, later I, I, I see <laughs> I see a hand pay on it. And I'm like, only two hand pays I saw in that casino the whole time I was there, like 20, what is it, 40 minutes? And, and I'm just like, I got to go back. So I don't have that for you for Hollywood Toledo. Let's see, where are we at? Uh, thank you for using hashtag question, Jane. My local tribal casino will be promoting a slot for expansion in the new, new restaurant in about one month. Congratulations, you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Will they lose, uh, be loose, or want to get my money back right away to pay for the upgrade? Uh, they want to get your money back right away to pay for the upgrade. It's interesting. They don't do much about paying for it before it happens. I mean, before it's a, it's it's like, you know, it, while it's being built, they don't do it. But after it's built, then they take your money. Uh, I guess it's because the bill comes due for, you know, in a business and that's when they have to pay it and that's when they need it. So if that helps you, you know, enjoy the next month before that happens. These little details, you know, this is, this is good stuff. People are uh, people are starting a lot of uh, comments. Uh, what's my biggest hand pay so far? I've already, I guess maybe I started that off. Um, yeah, I I realized when I saw uh, Brian Christopher talking about his biggest hand pay ever, and, and this was actually I think it's like a, a month a month or two ago. He he got something a little more substantial, uh, and he talked about um, having uh, surprise surprise won uh, uh, eighteen thousand. Uh, in a hand pay, was, uh, you know, after five years of doing it, playing high limit slot machines for his channel, uh, and I'm just like, wow, uh, and and I'm and I'm like, you know, nine months. Uh, my biggest was twenty seven thousand dollars, and um, you know, I didn't get out of the casino, and I, you know, learning experience, and I'm trying to share with you how to get out of the casino with that much money, but um, it, yeah, it was, it was a pretty pretty um you know before that i hadn't won five thousand i had won five thousand dollars a couple of times and it was all just very shocking yeah but there i am doing better than brian christopher yeah. <laughs> um let's see love the kitty yes uh you would no i, I can see your picture there uh and one of my first cats was named nimbles um i named my cats after scientists there is Madam uh, Mary Curie. We can almost see. Let me remove that. No, nope, can't quite see her. She's ducked down sleeping. Uh, I have email um, Lens, who invented, uh, who understood the physics behind uh, induced magnetic fields. I'm sorry, I'm speaking over your head. Who worked out how chips, IC uh, integrated circuits worked, how semiconductors worked, how how the induced magnetic field that makes all of our computers, cell phones, what I'm doing now, all work. And that's my gray cat. And then I also have uh, the inventor of Wi-Fi, whom you may know as a movie star named Hedy Lamar. And 
Eddie is not scared of anything. <laughs> uh, PNT Black, are, am I going to have to make another shirt uh, logo that it says, uh, is that a lockbox in your pocket or are you, or, or are you just happy to be here? <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, two hours. Um, improve your slots winnings and get more money home with this. 30 days to play slots uh, smarter and win. Currently at 50% off for $100 savings at professorslots.com slash 30 days. There you'll find a complete description, testimonials, and the valuable bonuses you'll get free with the course, including lifetime access, record-keeping templates, and much more. That link is available in the video description. So, okay, so that's it. What a great live stream I have. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing uh, from now on, it'll be two hours on Saturday at noon it, uh, Eastern time. It'll be a two hour uh, live stream unless my voice gives out or something. I'll have more uploaded videos for you soon. There's been a lot of them lately with more coming, but you can easily find them on my YouTube channel under uploads. Uh, and if you go to videos, they're all chronological no matter where they're coming from, podcasts or live streams or uploaded videos. So otherwise, next Saturday will be another live stream and maybe one or two others beforehand. I'm going to slowly ramp up on it. Uh, let's say that noon um, Eastern on Thursday is likely and maybe 7 p.m. Uh, uh, Tuesday evening is likely. So take care, slots enthusiasts. Have fun. Be safe. Make good choices.